All right, y'all, what's going on? It's Combo Breaker 99. I am back with another post fight analysis video. Okay, y'all, Kareem Silva versus Poliana Bateo. Ooh, man, another finish. Another finish for the women. This definitely secures a good night, a WMMA for all WMMA fans. Kareem Silva, man, going into this fight, she was coming in here with a 100% finishing rate, and she carries it out once again. She continues on with that streak of 100% finishing rate. And um, that's not the reason I picked her in this fight, though. I just had to pick her because she just has some momentum behind her, you know, just watching her train and just watching how she moves. Like sometimes she can fall behind, but she's always finding a way to win in a fight. You know, she knows how to make these nice adjustments and kind of like Aaron Blanchfield does, you know, she knows how to go in there and always find that way to win. You know, she kind of has a subtle dog about her. Like she just doesn't apply it or, or impose it all at once, but it'll sneak up on you. Like if you make a mistake, she's the type of fighter to find that open and boom, she catches you, whether she's knocking you out or submitting you off the ground, right? She's always finding, uh, she's, she's that type of fighter that really capitali capitalizes off your mistakes, right? She's that type of fighter. So you really have to be careful careful with her. Uh, Poliana Bateo, um, her coming in here after a year off and losing two fights in a row, you know, there was something that was telling me she was gonna be dangerous, which she was early on in this fight. You know, I was like, you know, she's going, she might be one of those fighters that's going to rise to the occasion. You know, she's going to rise to the occasion. She's going to make sure she has the improvements because she's going to want to go in there and crack that losing streak. Right. I thought she was that type of fighter going into this fight. Right. So early on, you know, like I said, with my prediction, I think this fight's going to be a stand up battle. It's going to be explosive. There's going to be some you know, tense moments. And that's how it turned out. You know, Poliana Bateo, I thought she was doing a good job early on, you know, finding her range with her kicks you know, landing some nice left hooks upstairs, uh, attacking the lead leg of Kareem Silva. But Kareem Silva, she just stayed cool in there. She stayed calm, collected until she could find her range. You know, she was just letting Poliana Mateo get settled in. But Kareem Silva was just doing a good job of downloading the information. You know, she was doing a good job of downloading that information of what she could. And as soon as she found her range, boom, that's when she steps in, right? I mean, real quick, going back and looking at the first round, Mateo, she started off with some nice pressure, you know, just stalking Silva, stalking her down, walking her down. Mateo, she was finding her range, nicely landing some nice left kicks, that left hook around the guard of Silva. Silva, she was staying calm, just avoiding big danger, looking for her range, you know, sticking a jab out here and there, you know, sticking those front kicks out just to test Mateo to see if she would walk into anything. Just really looking for range early on. Silva, she closed that distance, though. As she started to close that distance, you could see those jabs starting to find their range a little bit more. And that right hand, one time from Silva, just missed, missed by... Missed by a centimeter because I thought that first right hand that she threw was almost going to connect on the chin of Bateo. And I said, OK, this girl's got a laser sharp right hand. I've said that in my uh, build up to this fight, you know, my prediction. This girl's got a laser right hand. So as soon as Bateo was stepping in to get more comfortable, she walked right into an overhand right as Silva threw that overhand right. Cracked the right on the chin. Bateo went down. Now, they credited this as a takedown because as she was going down, Silva locked onto the body and, you know, just fell with her. But to me, I thought it was a knockdown because she was going to fall regardless. It's just like she fell with it. So when that overhand right landed and she was falling back on the back, to me, that was considered a knockdown. When she fell, this is where I knew Bateo was in trouble. Because even though Bateo, I think somebody told me she has a black belt in jiu-jitsu. Even though she has a black belt in jiu-jitsu, she always looks in trouble on her back. You know, Jillian Robertson also had her in trouble on the ground. So as soon as it hit the ground, like I said, Silva is much better on the ground. So if Silva gets on the ground... It's going to be a wrap. And as she transitioned from side control, she was able to lock that left lead leg up of uh, Bateo and wrap around the uh, neck. And when she wrapped around that neck and shoulder, I was like, uh-oh, we got 10 seconds left. But this thing was getting tighter and tighter. And as she locked in that Darce choke, that was a wrap. Bateo had to tap. So, yeah, man, um, good finish for Silva. You know, um, it's like I said early on in the fight, you know, she was just kind of uh, falling back, letting Bateo take the lead. But as soon as she found that opening, she took it. You know, she found a range, landed that big overhand right, and just exposed the open chin of Bateo and dropped her. You know, they said it was a takedown, but I thought it was a knockdown. So the girl has power, definitely has some power, but she also has a good ground game. I think she has some good fundamentals as far as her striking and her movement. So I think Kareem Silva is going to be a problem. You know, I think she'll be a problem for this division. You know, I think um, even with just one round, or excuse me, one fight in, and basically, yeah, one round because, you know, she only fought one round. Um, I think um, you'll see more of her starting to open up, especially on these other UFC level fighters that uh, that can help her build her confidence up that 
have a lot of openings that have a lot of holes you know that's going to really open her up to want to test herself more and more and then she'll start getting more confident she fights further and further up the rankings right so with this win i like to see in there with somebody like you know we got jillian robertson out there we got montana del rosa we got another hard hitter in uh arian lipsky you know arian lipsky i say arian lipsky or um jillian robertson i think those those would be two good fights for her you know uh, i think corinne silva she could have some good showings against those fighters you know even on the feet but if arian lipsky starts to out punch her you know she has a ground game if uh jillian robertson starts to out grapple her or tries to take her down i think she has enough on the feet to outclass jillian robertson on the feet so i think you know we might see another little well-rounded fighter being built up here like i said i'm not over hyping her yet but i think there's something about this fighter that will will start to appreciate as she starts to uh, rack up some more wins if she can rack up these wins but um yeah i, I know her uh 100 finishing rate the majority of it came from you know outside of the uh ufc but she, hey she came in here strong you know she showed you that she could knock out or submit a ufc level fighter right now so hey, we'll see though but uh pauliana bateo you know this is her third fight that she's lost in a row I'm um, not going to count her out yet because she did have an injury. She's coming off that injury year, um, about a year off of uh, inactivity. So we'll see. We'll see what she can do next. Maybe her and Montana would be a good fight since they're both coming off a of loss. I know I'm throwing that name out a lot, but, you know, I think that, you know, out of the unranked fighters, you know, those fighters um, like Montana, they still bring something to the table. And that's kind of a test for somebody like Bateo, you know. So yeah, guys, let me let me know what y'all thought of the fight. What do y'all think of Kareem Silva so far? Combo Breaker 99. I'm out. Subscribe. Peace.